Max Voltage here. And uh, tonight I did a live stream uh, with a couple of different topics, one of them being helium and what they're doing to fix the flatline problem. And I go into what that problem is. So without further ado, here's the excerpt. All right, so was looking through, and I've been following this these announcements in the helium uh, announcements channel. So they've been talking about all the different things they've been finding and nothing was as significant as um, what I found earlier this morning. So I'm just gonna read through this. We have optimi opti bleh, optimistic news today, thanks to help provided by one of our community members. With their help, the core team was able to find a root cause of the flat line that some hotspots have been seeing since activating light hotspots. So I know, for instance, a few people in our community have had this problem. Uh, from the poll, about a third of you have had this problem. Uh, that matches me. I've got usually one out of three of mine is flatlined from time to time. So the one at my house, fortunately, has never been flatlined, but the other two have flatlined from time to time, uh, especially the one at my in-law's house. That one is flatlined more often than not. So, but I have like unplugged, had asked them to unplug it, plug it back in, which wakes it up uh, most of the time, but doesn't always work as well. So anyway, so let's jump right down to where they, what, well, what they were doing. So next steps for the fix, the core team will send the fix to the test net and main net on alpha and beta hotspots as soon as it is ready. Uh, tag the build for hotspot makers as urgent and mandatory. Hotspot makers will send the update down to their fleet and LFG. So we go down to the last update, which was as of four o'clock today, the core team will send the fix to testnet because they've already completed it now and mainnet on alpha and beta hotspots as soon as it is ready one to two hours from now. Uh, let it sit for an hour and confirm that everything works. Tag the build for hotspot makers as urgent and mandatory. Hotspot makers will send the update down to their fleet. Watch vendor announcements and their social media discord uh, servers. And then of course, LFG. So. This is good news. This is really good news. This has been the major problem that's been plaguing um, the system. So even if yours doesn't have this flatline issue, um, or at least you may not think, if you have long periods where you're not getting anything, it's possible that that could be happening. But where they really they do talk about the, the problem, oh, here it is. To explain it simply, on a hotspot, one of the lower level processes that is used when connecting to a challenger stalls and never returns since there is no timeout explicitly set. The fix is to add a default timeout and a monitor so it knows to wake back up. So basically if um, this stalls and there's no response, the hotspot just sits there waiting for a response. There's no timeout. So they're setting a timeout so that it will wake back up and not have this problem. So seems like a pretty simple fix. A lot of bugs are pretty simple to fix once you've identified them. So I'm excited to see how this works and what this does for the network and to see what people's responses are. So really hoping that that will be a positive thing for the Helium network. Hope you enjoyed that excerpt from my live stream. Uh, a couple of updates, or actually one specific update is the makers of the hotspots are actually starting to roll out the new software load. MNTD specifically is rolling out as of 740. They said in the next 20 hours, everyone who is connected to the network should have the new software load and should basically start seeing a fix to that problem. So if you have a flat lining uh, helium hotspot, hopefully hope is in sight that it will be fixed. So again, hope you enjoyed it and you guys all have a great day.